brand is Bananas. And if you don't know, banana is amazing for the skin. It can have the care pigmentation. It's also very, very hydrating. And when you use it on the skin on a regular, it will help your skin to look soft, supple, and it will give you a natural glow. Today, I'm gonna make the banana facial mask, and I'm gonna make it a complete mask. A complete mask that will hydrate, lighten, brighten, tighten and firm so if you're interested in this banana facial mask do not click off follow me to my kitchen i'm going to share the full detailed recipe and then i'm going to share some tips and how best to use this on your skin now today we're going to be using banana and i like to use banana on my skin it's very hydrating what i like also is that it helps to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin the banana flesh is hydrating the banana peel will help to clear the skin of pigmentation it also have to remove warts from the skin mold from the skin any form of a striation from the skin so we're going to use the flesh today but we are also going to use a little bit of the peel for its skin brightening properties. So just scrape the banana like that. And now we are going to chop the flesh in small pieces since we're going to be blending. Now if you do not have a blender, you can choose to crush the banana. Now let's reach for our blender. Add our banana to the blender. Now take a look at our second ingredient and here I have some soy milk. Soy milk is rich in vitamin A and that vitamin A will help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines, boost the collagen production in the skin. Soy milk is also very hydrating to the skin. We're going to use two tablespoons of the soy milk for this end. And now we're going to cover and we're going to blend before we have the rest of the ingredients. Now after blending, take a look, rich and creamy banana and milk. And now we're going to add our next ingredient. Now my next ingredient is cornstarch and cornstarch have absorbing properties. It will help to get rid of the excess oil on the skin and it will also help to tighten and firm the skin. Now, if you do not have cornstarch, you can go ahead and you can use uh, some regular wheat flour or you can use some blended rice or you can even use some oatmeal to replace the cornstarch. Now we're starting off with two tablespoons of the cornstarch. We're adding that to the blender. And take a look at my final ingredient. Here I have a lemon, and lemon contains citric acid, which will help to lighten and brighten the skin. So we're just going to cut our lemon. So once we cut the lemon, we're just going to squeeze some juice. And we do not need a lot of lemon juice in this. All we need is about a teaspoon. So let's just squeeze about a teaspoon of lemon juice in the mixture. And now that this is done, we are going to blend. So give it a little shake, cover, and blend. Now after blending, take a look. And now we're going to pour this out. Nice and creamy. Now you can choose to add a little bit of a vitamin E oil to this or a little bit of a vegetable glycerin which will help to keep it longer. And now give it a mix and this is exactly how you want this to be. You do not want it to be too thick. You want it to be of this consistency. So go ahead and add a little vegetable, as a matter of fact, let me add a little vegetable glycerin, a little vegetable glycerin or a little vitamin E oil. And you can also choose to add this while you are blending. It's optional, okay? Now your mask is ready to use. And let's reach for our storage jar. We're going to pour this in. Now a little of this mask goes a long way. It's not a thick mask. 
and you can keep this in your refrigerator up to seven to ten days seven days if you didn't use the vitamin e oil or the vegetable glycerin up to ten days if you, if you use that vegetable glycerin and here you have it your skin tightening skin brightening facial mask And to use the mask, you want to start with clean skin. So you're going to wash your face the way you normally do. And also, if you have not exfoliated for a while, go ahead and exfoliate the skin. Now, once this is done, you are going to apply the mask on your skin. You do not need a lot, just a little of the mask. This is what I like about this mask. It's not thick. You can use your hands or you can use a brush to apply it and apply it all over your face. And it's gonna dry on the skin. So you're gonna let it sit on your skin for about half an hour and it's gonna dry. And then you're gonna rinse off preferably with some cold water. This mask is good to use two to three times per week, but it is safe to use every day on the skin. Good for oily skin, good for tightening the skin, good for clearing pigmentation on the skin. It is also good for softening the skin, boots in collagen, and keep your skin looking fresh and radiant with a natural glow. So there you have it. A banana facial mask that will not only lighten and brighten but tighten and firm the skin thank you all for watching if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it on your social media so others can see how amazing the banana is